Also, we have, uh, Majori has published eight books in her lifetime. We have most of them over there for sale. And this is just a sample of one of her poems. It's called Tantra. Anybody know what Tantra is? Yeah. <laughs> Suppose that sex becomes a bore and we just want to turn and snore. There are ways to wake up and say, wow, and wise folks who can show you how. I'm not saying up the heat, wear negligees and scorch the sheets, but rather how to open up our heart and soul slowly, not abrupt, and touch with measured candid spine the bigger spaces, hers and thine, as we sway and then lie down, plug into sockets, circuits round, and share our hearts with words so true. Does this not sound so nice to you? There are meditations for a hundred years of loving more, and loving in this ancient way does not wear out the loving play, nor sap you of your energy. Ready to experiment and see? He's a little bit of a bullshit artist, this guy. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a couple of poems. This one's called In Dimitri's Restaurant, and I wrote it in Corfu in Greece. Is this loud enough? It comes to me that what I really want from people is this. Someone to sit down here and ask me, please tell me something beautiful for 15 minutes. And I would say, see how the grape branches run over our heads like wild animal trails in the forest. See the way the sun comes through some of the big shapely leaves while most stay shady. See the clean blue of sky here, there, in irregular geometries among the leaves. I would say, oh, there, the new bunches hanging green but holding time within them for the sweet, long grapes to be. I would say, when a truck passes on the road, feel how our bodies contract in their delicate wisdom. I would say, see your eyelashes curling long and dark, and your great archy eyes, your liquid, frank, and brightsome eyes. <coughs> I would say more, improvising in my happiness, theme by theme, Lord, somebody, ask me. 